Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Taylor and on this channel I make videos about travel, health and wellness and veganism and today we're going to be making a vegan pad thai. I did include this meal in one of my what I eat in a day reels I posted on Instagram and to TikTok. I had a few people ask for the recipe so I decided to make this video. I hope you enjoy it and get ready to have some really amazing vegan goodies. So these are all the ingredients that you will need to make this pad thai. The first step in this recipe is to cook and heat the unsalted peanuts. You can find this in the snack section of Woolies or you know anywhere really. Now the peanuts are in the pan I will just put that at a medium heat. Let that do its thing while I get the sauce ready. So to make the sauce you will need two to three tablespoons of tamarind puree. I will be using two tablespoons today. One and a half tablespoons of date syrup, a splash of vegan fish sauce, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, and two tablespoons of tamari. Sometimes I like to add a little bit extra dates or just at the end to make it a little bit sweeter. Ultra speed! <laughs> okay, I'm done now. <laughs> Alright, so then we leave the sauce over by the stove. Make sure you don't forget to do this because that's, <laughs> this is actually really important. <laughs> Are you ready to get chopping? So we're gonna get two <laughs> spring onions and take off the roots and save them for the garden. You can plant spring onions in your garden and then they'll just start growing more spring onions, which is an amazing idea. So we always keep the bottom of those. I separate the white uh, section of the spring onion from the darker green section because I'm gonna be using the darker green sections for the garnishing. I'm gonna be putting the white part of the spring onions in the pan. Reminder two, don't forget the peanuts. And then we're going to grate two carrots Nicely toasted. We can put them in a pestle and water. That's probably like a quarter of a head of a wombok. And then I'm just going to cut it up. Now we have to get the noodles ready. So I've got a kettle boiling behind me and I've already pre-boiled another kettle because you do need a lot of water to make the noodles. When you start cooking the noodles, you'll want to stir them with a fork because it stops them from sticking together. And then you want to put it on a high heat. Get your fork and pull the noodles apart. Make sure all of the noodles are submerged and then you can set your timer for six minutes. While you're waiting for the noodles, you can start grinding the peanuts for our topping. While we're waiting for the noodles to finish, we'll just start cooking some of the veggies so they're ready when the noodles are ready. I put a touch of avocado oil into the pan. Then we can add the spring onions, the wombok and the carrot. This is optional, but you can add a dash of sesame oil just to add a little bit of flavor. Check the noodles just to make sure that they're not sticking together and they look like they're going to be done pretty soon. I wish you guys could smell it because it's so good and I'm so excited. The noodles are ready. Now you'll need to cover the noodles with this. Now that the noodles are in the pan, you will need to cover the noodles with the sauce. So I just start with a little bit first. 
And then add the sauce to any of the white bits that aren't yet covered. Now you want to turn the temperature up to high so you can keep cooking it and keep stirring it and keep making a mess like I am. That looks pretty amazing to me. So now I'm going to start dishing it up. The last touch. That is that, a vegan pad thai, super filling, super nutritious, and I'm really excited to try it. And it's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick bite. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. So amazing, highly recommend, super easy to make. Definitely try it yourself. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this dinner. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it. If you have enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. Peace out, stay calm, stay chill and eat good vegan food.